Spotlight. Wild guppies are relatively popular aquarium pets. These small, tropical, freshwater fish are easy to care for and can tolerate a wide range of conditions different from those in their natural habitat. Wild guppies are peaceful community fish and can get on well with many non-aggressive fish species. However, nipping behaviour is sometimes exhibited between male guppies or other top swimmers like swordtails and platys, and on the odd occasion other fish with elaborate fins such as angelfish. Guppies should not be kept as a single fish in an aquarium because both males and females show signs of loose shoaling and are usually found in large groups in the wild. Other good tank mates could include non-aggressive fish such as zebrafish, dwarf danios, smaller rasboras and neon tetras. Also remember that any fry spawned from an active guppy female may be seen as a snack by other fish in the aquarium, so having smaller tank mates will ensure more fry survive. Like all guppies, wild guppies are prolific breeders. They give birth to live young every 23 to 28 days. Therefore, it would be best to keep two females to every male amongst thick planting and the fish will do the rest. The male will transfer his sperm into the female via his gonopodium. Then it is saved and used to fertilise her eggs. When the live young are ready to be released, the female will show a very dark black rabid spot near her vent. Guppies can give birth to anything from 1 to 50 babies with each drop, and sometimes a lot more, depending on the mother's age and size. The fry will initially spend their first few hours of life at the bottom of the tank where they will consume their yonk sacs. At this moment, they are most vulnerable to predators, including the mothers and the other guppy females. Once the fry have consumed their entire yolk sac, you can then feed them with baby brine shrimp, powdered fry food and crushed flake food. They will also snack on algae and microorganisms that develop on aquatic plants or tank decor. The males will start to present colour around four to eight weeks later. Still, it can take several months before developing the full extent and abundance of colour that characterises guppies. It is very simple to distinguish the males from the female wild guppies. The males are smaller than females, have ornamental caudal and dorsal fins and various patterning on their bodies, mainly displaying orange, black and bluish green colouring. In contrast, wild type females are greyish brown in body colour and somewhat bigger than the males. Guppies have been captive bred for over 100 years, however they originally came from South America. Guppies are named from Robert John Lechmere Guppy, who initially identified these fish on the island of Trinidad. Wild guppies are indigenous to freshwater streams in the north of South America, including Guinea, Suriname and Venezuela, as well as the Caribbean islands Trinidad, Tobago and Barbados. However, wild guppies have now been introduced to numerous continents around the world except for Antarctica, and you can find them in many warm waterways around the world. Wild guppies are omnivores and feed on algae, small insects and plant matter in the wild. Therefore, it would be best to recreate this diet as closely as possible in the home aquarium. You can achieve this by feeding them high quality dried foods such as flakes or granules, as well as live frozen or freeze dried foods such as bloodworm, daphnia and brine shrimp. Bloopers. Wild guppies are indigenous to freshwater streams in the north. Wild guppies are indigenous from... <sighs> Wild guppies are an excellent beginner fish as they are very hardy and can adapt to many different conditions and tolerate some beginner mistakes. <sighs> These small tropical freshwater... 